Hi, I'm Arius. Today I'll show you how to place your heat deflector. Many of places prior to dry becomes too hot. This repair will take approximately 25 minutes. For this repair, you'll need a quarter inch nut driver, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a T20 torque screwdriver. If you need to buy a new heat deflector, you can order one from our website. You can order one on our website. Before starting your repair with any appliance, make sure to disconnect it from its power source. Once you turn your dryer around, you can begin removing this flap. Now we remove the screws around it. As you begin taking out the last screw, make sure you hold the back panel so it doesn't fall on the floor. All right. Once you're done removing the back panel, you can take off the backsplash. Slides out like so. And then we're gonna go into the dryer and take some screws out. You're gonna open the door. You need to locate the screws, which one is located right here. Make sure to remove the two screws. Just close the door like so. Now we can move back up top. Remove the top panel after you've taken out the screws. All you do is just lift it. It slides right off. You're gonna take your nut driver and begin removing your bolts. Be careful, the edge is very sharp. Let's take out the nuts. The door basically falls off. All you do is Lift it ever so slightly. Put it to the side. Some wires on the bottom left hand side. You need to disconnect. And you just place your door to the side. To remove your dryer's belt, all you need to do is put it on an angle. You're going to reach back with two hands. There's a pulley inside, which the belt is on. Your belt's over your motor shaft completely like so. It's gonna take a little bit of force. You're gonna push it down. Once you lock it back, it relieves the tension on the belt. You can take the belt off your drum. Once you loosen up your belt, you can just remove your drum from the dryer, pick it up, slide it right out. To remove your old heat deflector, all you need to do is take your torque screw and then remove the screws. All right, once you remove the last screw, it slides right off. That's how you take out your deflector shield. Take your new deflector shield, which you can order on our website. Just place it right inside. Make sure you match the holes where your screws go. To complete this repair, you'll need a assistant. The assistant will simply hold the bearing to the back of the drum, matching the holes where the screws will go. You can begin screwing it back on. Now all you have to do is put your belt back on your drum, stick it back in the dryer. Begin reinstalling it. First put it on your drum, like so. Make sure the lines are face down. You can use the belt actually to lift it, slide it into place. Once again, we're gonna put it on the angle. Make sure you place your belt around the motor, turn the pulley wheel, release it. Tighten your belt up and you're ready to begin drying once you put your dryer back together. Before you put the front door back on, make sure you connect your wires. You're going to pick up your dryer's front door, place it on the slots. Slides right into place. You're going to need to pick up your drum ever so slightly, slide your front door inside of it. Once you have your top panel back on, you're going to take your long screws and your foot head screwdriver. Once you put the tabs back in to the top panel, make sure the sides are locked in properly. Now all we have to do is put our back panel back on.
take your heat shield, put it back in. Once you finish putting your back panel on, turn your dryer around and reconnect it and you can begin drying. Once you've completed your repair, don't forget to reconnect it to its power source. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you found it helpful. We give you these videos so the average person can complete their own appliance repairs. Be sure to like, comment, and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.